Hey guys, it's Neil and Matt from the Skullbusters, and yeah. in today's video, we're going to be talking about the uh, the information that's dropped today from uh, Sony PlayStation regarding the PS5. All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, so basically, all the info has been dropped today. It was all leaked, and then PS uh, PlayStation just officially dropped it all. I don't. What time was this for us? Around about two o'clock or before that? I think it was about three, mm. three o'clock. UK time for us. Yeah, so, they just basically confirmed like the spec of it. Matt Carney, I think it was, done an interview with Wired.com. Yeah, so uh, pretty much uh, we've got some of the specs of what we uh, what is to come with the PS5, and also confirmed that it's not out this year. So I think uh, in the summertime of this year i think we'll start to see more a little bit more information and i think we might even get a picture towards the end of the year hopefully we'll get some kind of announcement soon after the you know they've released the spec of it well so well, when they give us a little taste haven't they yeah so when's e3 it? it's always yeah. june it's so maybe june i think it could be before that. It. yeah i know they are but i'm saying that could be before it or after it to make it more matter. headlines they, they can, when they uh, release the official photos for it. Well, they can do it themselves. That's why I think they've backed out of it, so they can just create their own event, so they can just focus on, like, PlayStation, everything PlayStation. Yeah. So, like, PlayStation 5, the games, even yeah. all the tech, that will come with it. They'll show off a four, uh, an 8K TV, if I guarantee it. So the first details that we've got about the PS4, uh, 5, sorry... <laughs> Need to get that right. So we've got a, the new brand new SSD, which is nine ti 19 times faster than the PS4. And oh. PS okay, there we go, the PS4 Pro. Yeah. So in other words, they've done a test it and do a Spider-Man. So they loaded the, the game Spider-Man up on the PS4 Pro, and it took 15 seconds. On the PlayStation 5, it done it in 0 0.8 seconds. So it's kind of like just over half. Oh, it sounds yeah. like it's going to be super fast. So I'm no holding you... screens. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it's on straight away. Yeah. So as Neil said before, it's going to support 8K in graphics, which uh, TVs don't support that as of yet, but they will next year, I'm guessing. I, I, like I say, I think they'll start it. It'll be basic, will be 4K, and then when 8K is available to the market, it'll support it. Yep. Yeah, so um, I mean? also it's backwards compatibility. With the PS4, <laughs> finally, but Yay. I really want it backwards compatible with the PS2. <laughs> I just want to play all PS2 games on it. But other than that, um, backwards compatibility, can't wait for that, finally. Uh, also, uh, the disc reader is still there, so they're not getting rid of that. Thank God for that. Yeah. Uh, physical uh, games, physical discs. Yeah, discs. I, I, I prefer disc over downloads, even though I've got a load of downloads on the PS4. I it's, super it's gonna go downloads in the future though. Yeah, I know. Um, it's got a new 3D audio system that is coming with it. VR supported as well. Hopefully, they could upgrade the graphics for the VR as well. It's got potential, but I, I don't know about that. I really don't. Also, the launch will be early 2020 or mid 2020. Launch and, of what? Well, it says here maybe. A launch in early 2020. No, it's not. I told you it's going to be November. They'll yeah. announce everything. They'll show it off at E3 next year, 2020. Well, I don't know. Cause... Like everyone's no. Trust me. They'll have people have. You'll, if you went to E3 next year, you will have hands on with games, and you'll see the actual console, and then oh, you'll be able to right. buy it. Yeah. In November 2020. Yeah, I see. You. I'll, I'll put me. I'll put my mortgage on it. I guarantee it. And it, it'll November, be on sale, ready for November's Christmas. November's a bit late though, you think about it, because all the games not, come out not. early though. No, because they'll, they'll announce all the games beforehand. No, but what I'm saying is it would be like FIFA, I think it would be 21 by then, yeah. the new yeah, card would be yeah, out, yeah. Battlefield, Bad Company. You, you're forgetting it, it's backward compatibility. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, there yeah. you go. Problem solved, Matt. Problem solved, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely forgot about that. So all the brand new exclusives that we could be seeing, potentially for the PS4, would be upgrading to the PS5 instead. We don't know. So like The Last of Us 2, maybe we all think it's PS4, but it's not. It's going to be PS5. 
Death Stranding is going to be the same. What other games that got released? It's going to be long. There's a Hell um, Kill Zone. Um, yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be a brand new Kill Zone like there was with the PS4. Yeah, so there's going to be a new games as usual. We've got the new GTA f- uh, Six. I was going to say Five then. The new Assassin's Creed is going to be out. There's going to be a lot of PS5 exclusives. Uh, just for the just PS5. Like yeah. Also, there'll be digital indie games, which is also like in the actual system for the PS5 and not for the PS4. So, okay, guys, I think that's it for the uh, speculation video for the PlayStation 5. Uh, don't, get, don't forget to give us some thumbs up or thumbs down if you'd like to or dislike the video. Don't forget to give us some feedback in the comment section let us yeah, know your yeah, thoughts about comments. playstation 5 and give, yeah. you, give us your thoughts yeah and we'll keep you posted soon as we get more details about the ps5 later in the year i know we'll see you all soon adios